Footprints in the Snow by May Mastuka. It was a cold winter's day. Wolf sat by the fire in his cozy little house, reading all the books he had about wolves. All the wolves in the stories that he read were nasty, scary, and greedy. I think it's about time somebody wrote a story about a nice wolf, he said. So he sat down at his writing table and picked up a pen. And this is how the story went. One winter's morning, it snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed. When it finally stopped snowing, Mr. Nice Wolf stepped out of his house to go for a walk. In the silk smooth bed of snow, he spotted some footprints leading into the forest. Hmm, I wonder who these could be, he thought. He decided to follow the footprints to find out who they belonged to so that he could make a new friend. And while, he, and after a little while, he saw a squirrel in a tree. Excuse me, sir, are these footprints yours? He asked him politely. No, answered the squirrel. Why do you ask? I want to find out so that I can make a new friend, explained Mr. Nice Wolf. I don't believe you, said the squirrel. You just want to find out so that you can eat the poor thing. And with that, he scampered off. Next, Mr. Nice Wolf came across a bunny rabbit poking her nose out of her burrow. Excuse me, ma'am, are these footprints yours? He asked her cheerfully. I want to find out so that I can make a new friend. I don't believe you, said the rabbit. You're just hungry and you want to find some breakfast. And with that, she hopped back down into her burrow. Mr. Nice Wolf, who wasn't feeling too nice at this point, tried to ignore what she said and carried on. He soon came to a big lake in the middle of the forest. Oh, could these footprints be yours? Mr. Wolf asked the frog. No, said Frog, and there's no way I would tell you who they are, even if I knew. Then he dived into the lake and swam off. Right over on the other side of the lake, Mr. Wolf saw a big brown duck. Hello there, he shouted. These must be your footprints, he said. Yes, answered the duck, swimming over. Oh, good, I've been looking for you, said Mr. Wolf. I was hoping we could be... But as he spoke, Mr. Wolf took a good long look at the duck and forgot all about what he was saying. For that duck looked so fat, juicy, and mouth-wateringly tasty. Splash! Wolf, started, Wolf was startled to find himself back in his own house. Phew! I almost let my story end with Mr. Nifles. Nice Wolf being just as bad as the other wolves. Wolf got out of the bath to dry himself off when suddenly there was a knock at the door. Knock, 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 knock. I'm coming, Wolf called. He opened the door. And in the silk smooth bed of snow, he spotted some footprints. Hmm, I wonder whose these could be.